Alrighty, here we have Tagachi, Virtual Pet, being playing on the Switch. Courtesy Red Deer Games. This game is not unlike the Cat Gachi that I previously covered on the channel. This is pretty much the exact same thing, with the exception of there being dogs instead of cats. Um, now, you know, select a pet, you have a pug, a husky, and an, a, uh, I forget what that third one is, uh, but I've got three dogs here. I've got dog, dog, and doog. <laughs> just to see what the differences were. Uh, so this is the pug. So just like with the cat game, uh, pretty, pretty similar. Um, you can select your uh, different uh, environmental um, set pieces, if you will. Uh, then you have the lights turned on and off to make them go to sleep. You have the hunger, energy, hygiene, and fun up there. They will poop, so you can use the the water to to wash the screen and get the poop away. You can feed them. You can feed them fish, a uh, chicken, a bone, or give them water. Um, I think it's interesting that you can give a dog fish. Um, I'm not sure if this is an asset carried over from the uh, <laughs> from the cat version or not, or the cat game or not, because it was some of the same guy, same people. But I thought it was going to be interesting. But you can give them bones, you can, you can uh, heal them, you can play games with them. Just like with the cat game, the games um, provided with the different breeds are different. Um, and you do have three games per dog. So this one's you have to destroy. Again, not like the cat game. You just have to destroy as many objects as you can. Without missing any. And of course, it gets faster as the game goes on. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Pretty simple. Newspapers, headphones, shirts, dumbbells. I think that's what those are. Oh, ranch. That's new. Yeah, you guys gonna gradually get faster and faster and faster with life. So let, I'm just let it, let it go. Okay, and then you, I'm gonna go ahead and change to a different way, to a different dog. Also like the husky. Again, very similar. With there being a different game, I'm gonna go open up the game. Here you got dog. So that's kind of cool. So. Um, opposite destroy, you're trying to um, avoid the objects. So, different. I can actually do the opposite mechanic. Um, this game's okay. Um, again, these games are pretty simplistic. Um, they, they'd be okay for me, a kid, to play. Uh, if you, you know, want to get this for your kid, definitely worth worth picking up. It's like a little Tamagotchi uh, on the Switch. Uh, again, there's uh, uh, Doug Gotchi here. There's also Cat Gotchi. Um, I've covered both the channel. I'll leave the description to check out the uh, other game as well there in the description for this one. Um, so if you like cats, you can get the cat one. If you like dogs, you can get this one. Um, pretty, pretty cool game for a virtual pet game. I will give it that. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to the last dog. Show the game here. This game kind of isn't fair. Um, so you have to, uh, get the newspaper without, without letting it disappear, without getting the bomb. And it just feels unfair and completely broken. I'm not, I'm not gonna play it anymore. But, uh, <laughs> so those are the, those are the games available, um, for each dog breed so far that you, that you end up, uh, starting out with. Um, one thing I do think is kind of cool, I don't know if it's in the Cat Gotcha game, but it is in this one, it's downloadable content that allow you to change the color palette. So pretty cool, all these different color palette choices. Why you'd pick this one, I don't know, but hey, it's available to you. And yeah, this is uh, Dog Gotcha Virtual Pet on Nintendo Switch. I want to thank... Uh, Radio Games for the opportunity. This game's pretty cool for what it is. Uh, and worth checking out. Uh, if you're a fan of Tamagotchi's virtual pets, things like that. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.